Hi, Erwan from Motion VFX. Motion VFX released MTuber 2 plugin for Final Cut Pro, a plugin dedicated for content creators. MTuber 2 is a collection of templates, titles, animated icons, and logos, which will enhance your YouTube content creation workflow. In this tutorial dedicated for the content creators, I will show you how to combine MTuber 2 with other Motion VFX solutions in order to promote and interact more with your community. Let's start with the basics, the subscription, and the like. Subscription and like are essential for your channel. It will push YouTube to put your content in the front page. So don't be sorry to do your own promotion, but it's true that hearing YouTuber all the time asking to subscribe or to add a like can be boring. With MTuber 2, you can promote your video and channel in a fun way more visually. For example, here I would like to get more likes, drag and drop it on the top of the clip. As you can see, it's a simple and very effective way to ask your audience to click on the sum up. As it is a template, I can modify every parameters of this animation. I can change the numbers and the animation will update automatically with a number during the animation. And of course, you can modify the position, the size and the colors. One of my favorite animation is the player, as it will zoom out your project and mimic the YouTube interface to show in few seconds the three actions to do, like, subscribe and notification. As always, you can modify everything. You can switch from the dark mode to the white mode you can also translate the subscribe button to your native language. YouTube is nice, but don't forget to promote also your different social network, streaming or crowdfunding platform. Here I will use the sidebar social media icon. I will modify the text for my Facebook fan page. I can switch to the title mode, which will be much bigger. But also I can switch to different platform icons like Instagram, Snapchat, Vimeo, Twitch or Patreon. If you want to display a new social network or one which is not available in the drop-down menu, don't worry, here are a tip. For example, I would like to communicate on my LinkedIn account. I will just select the custom logo, use the drop zone to add the LinkedIn logo, and adjust the size and the text, and it's done. Watermarking your video will give you two benefits. The first will be to protect your content and your work with your logo and your name. The second will be to communicate and promote your channel even if people look few minutes of your program. Still in social media icon, I will add the avatar template. It will bring me to quickly add my logo and channel. I can add my own logo by filling the drop zone with a Mr. Moustache logo. I will let the YouTube icon as I'm on YouTube, but of course it is possible to switch to other platform icons. In the parameters, I can adjust the size and change the position directly inside the viewer with the on-screen control. In the timeline, I will have to set the duration of the element in order to cover all the content length. And it's done. The end of your video is crucial as it will be the moment to send your audience to see the other content you've already done. Depending on your content and subject, you can send them to a complimentary video, to the previous vlog or following tutorial. So always reserve 20 seconds at the end to add all the information. On YouTube Creator Studio, you can add direct clickable videos with basic titles and animation. MTuber2 will give you the possibility to add nice animation, get all the animated titles and icons you need. In this case, I will choose in the ending scene section, the social media template. I will be able to showcase two videos, but also my social network and the subscribe button. As usual with Motion VFX, I can modify every element I will add the right name for the Facebook page and Instagram account. I will rearrange directly inside the viewer with the on-screen controls the position of the element. Concerning the drop zone, you will have two choices. Keeping the drop zone and the content inside will have the same animation, or switch to the solid mode and you will be able to add your video inside the YouTube Creator Studio. The YouTube Creator Studio can't recreate this kind of animations. It is why the first two parameters are animation in and out, so you can switch off the animation and be compatible with the YouTube Creator Studio. Here I will choose the drop zone and add the content to promote two videos. And it's done. 
And next thing are not only for the end of your content, you can also use them at any time. It could be nice to add some visual reference during an explanation, for example. In this blog, I can display a similar situation with a nice video content and nice animation. As everything is customizable, I can modify the text, the look of the element. I will click on the drop zone icon, select the right clip in the media browser, and boom, it's done. To get a strong community, you will have to stay close from it. You will have to create a unique connection between you and your followers. So listening to your audience, answering to their comments could be very helpful. With M message, it's very simple to integrate the comments of your community inside your production. You will have dozens of templates mimicking comments interface like Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and more. Here I would like to have a simple bubble to get a question. I will have to drag and drop on the top of my clip, then add the question, add the avatar icon of Marcin inside the drop zone. It is a very nice touch to add a member of your community directly inside your video. It will stimulate others to ask questions later on. A second example here, a question from Jacob on Twitter for the FAQ. As the previous one, I will be able to write the question directly inside and add the good avatar icon. But also I can modify every word and numbers on the template. Stories are very popular. It is a nice way to communicate directly to your audience. It can have many purposes, like a quick FAQ, for example, teasing a video or a live event. Here I will show you how to convert your project to a story. First, you will need to create a new project and you will have to create a custom resolution. I will go on a 1080 by 1920, so I will get a vertical project. Then I will copy paste my content to the vertical project. As you can see, by default, Final Pro adjusts my content to fit horizontally. So I will select all my elements, go to the inspector and I will switch in the special confirm parameter to none. Now we'll have to reframe my titles and my clips one by one in order to get the best part of each in the vertical window. To add some motion graphics and information, I will go to my generators library and select the M Stories bundle from Motion VFX. M Stories provide many vertical elements to stylize your content. I will select this one, drag and drop on the top of my project and adjust the duration. Of course, I can customize every element of this template. I will adjust the opacity, remove some text and modify others. M Story contains also various elements to stylize your content. For example, I can add a crown on the top of the head of the dog. I can also add a title to indicate to my audience to swipe up to see the full movie. Now we just have to export the project and add it to my stories platform, Instagram, Facebook or YouTube. Interacting and communicating with your audience is crucial for your channel. Motion VFX provides many solutions to help you to get close to your community with easy to use tools and professional results. I invite you to visit motionvfx.com where you can find all our solutions, plugins, templates, and compositing elements. Don't hesitate to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell to be notified for our next content. Don't miss our second video dedicated to the content creators where you can learn how to get dynamic content. See you there. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.